my I believe she's created a, an event on Facebook about it. So we are going to just hook away here today. And I'm going to do the... I don't think I'm going to make that roof as high. I like to change things. Patterns are meant to be changed. So it's cool here today. It's not hot. It's a little bit windy. You can probably hear the ocean lapping away. So I've got all my colors in a bag, right? The clear bag. That's really important that I have that clear bag because that allows me to see. And I'm using my hoop so I can just take this with me anywhere. And I love that. So it took me about 10 minutes to put this little project together because I didn't plan out all the colors exactly. I just I'm going to leave that there like that now. And let's see. And so what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of, I'm kind of making it up a little bit as I go along. So I'm going to make this house just like a little cottage. Val, could you pass me my scissors there? Are you safe or should I go up and get them? I'll, I'll get up and get them because Val's given a real steady camera job. You notice I didn't get her brother. <laughs> <laughs> so Val, tell us about you. Who are you? I am Robert's sister. You are Robert's sister. The baby of the family. And she is a journalist in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And an editor these days. She's an editor. And I do research on documentary films. And I am working on a second edition of Mama's Cookbook, which might show up one of these days or months yes. or years. Alexandra's Lebanese cooking. And so, I like to garden. Years ago, Valerie, I was cooking here on this step. I always used to hook on the step and your father came over and he looked down and all my little bits were on the grass and he didn't like it. He didn't like that I was littering all, with all those little bits of grass. I was making a little mess on the grass. And I just, he didn't say anything. I could just tell by the way he looked at it. So now I'm going to ground this house by putting, and this is going to be a little rectangular shaped rug, I think, or a little square. Unlike my brother. Unlike her brother. <laughs> Who's also, he's a good husband. Really good father. <laughs> hey, Val. Uh, you're not saying anything. Keeping my mouth shut. Keeping her mouth shut, she might get in trouble. Can't take sides. Can't take sides. Look, I don't know. You can take sides. You can side on the side of your family. It's okay. So I really, the thing I really love about Sari is how it contrasts with wool. So you have that silk and then you have the wool, you know? And it's really way more beautiful when you see them. When you just see it alone, it, it is just itself. But when you, see it, it, when you see it in contrast with another texture, then it really does its job and it really stands out. And I love that. So this actually could be the beginning. This actually could be the beginning. Let's use some orange today. I'm going to use some orange. I want to put some orange flowers in this. In this. I 
actually going to take that strong red out. I find it a little too strong, that red. So I'm going to add more orange. I'm liking that. Okay, let's see what I got in my bag over here. I'm gonna add some more a softer shade of green in here. And I think this is, after all, even though I said I wasn't gonna start something, it looks like this is the beginning of a field rug. So I'll get this all set up and I'll probably, of course, I'll probably take it inside. I do hook a lot on the deck on uh, hot days it's cool but I'll probably just go inside today and finish this up so are you getting any comments Val besides noise complaints any qu anybody thank you for sharing your holiday with us love hooking with sorry I should have my glasses on That's okay. I won't I won't attempt the names in case I get them wrong That's all right. I'm liking this now. Love the orange. Yeah, I'm loving Debbie the orange. Debbie Sagan, Kathy McDonald says there are about a quarter to three quarters of an inch wide for the Sari silk. Somebody had asked about the width. Width, yeah. Yeah. Kathy McDonald is our Saturday person at the studio, our Saturday woman. Oops. So now I'm going to take this out that I started with that I showed you because this is not going in the direction I want it to go. This this might be a little rug for my friend Caroline. We'll have to see. This would be a good one for her. I just might make a are they something. lupins, somebody says? No, I would say they are not lupins. They are just little individual flowers, each one. Its own little individual bloom. together and we'll just add Use my pencil. Just with a sharp pencil. Can you see that line, everybody? Let's call those flowers summer hyacinths. Is that what somebody said? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you at Amher Shore? She sure is. I am. I am at Amher Shore. Now we have a lawn tractor in the background for added ambiance. There we go. This is Amher Shore. If you can't hear a mower, something's wrong. People are very attached to their grass out here, we have to say. Now, do you mind if I lose some little pieces of wool? It's all natural and goes back to the earth, right? Oh, that's fine with Just me. started on the ship, sheep, now it's going back to the sheep. Have you been in for a swim yet? Any jellyfish? There are some jellyfish, but not very many. And yes, I have a swimming first thing this morning. And I'll probably go again this afternoon. She's a keener. Did you go in yet, Valerie? Yep, a couple times. Okay, so what Are else? you with your sister, Donna? No, no. she's with her sister-in-law, Valerie. Valerie. Val the gal. Val the gal. All right, so we're gonna wrap up now shortly, but I feel like this needs something else. I feel like, don't you feel like it needs a little something, like maybe some... So, if you want a sari pack, go on and get it. 
we're gonna we i don't know like we did up i think there's like 25 of them or something there's not a ton but there are some and someone asked the temperature i would say it's about 19 or 20 celsius it's not that warm today no Bit of a breeze it's nice though yeah i don't like that well i'm struggling a little bit now folks see what this is the thing you know when you only have what's in the bag for summer hooking then you make compromises and that's okay i think that's good i think you you learn you know new things from that so i'm gonna go up here now and put some hot pink in face being hooked on the kitchen women that I'm hooking in the in the studio in town but this is just a little something today to share my holiday with you my day off with you because it's a different kind of holiday in Canada this year we're all changing the way that we celebrate it we have we have a request for blue sky it's not that blue it's a bit overcast but there it is Oh, is that what they're talking about? So maybe. You can tell I'm not a hooker. Val's a writer. When you say sky, I mean sky. <laughs> so that's it for today, folks. I'm going to show you all those fairy colors again. And I'm going to say so long. And thank you for joining me today. It was fun to have you here at the beach. And remember, all you need is your little bag. A wool, your hook, your hoop, and you can skip away, and I'll see you later.